Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul here, and we're going to be doing a special episode regarding multi-tools here. So basically, what happened is, a few months ago, as you might imagine, uh, as you probably have already discovered, I have a video out regarding a fantastically OP multi-tool. Unfortunately, with this last fractal update, that multi-tool no longer exists. So, we're on the search for a new multi-tool that we can really utilize. I've gone through my own batch of multi-tools and I have decided to call some Blah, also Blah, and Blah 3. So I've got three multi-tools I'm going to show you today that are up to you to decide which one you want to use, but I've got three multi-tools I'm going to be getting rid of. So I can replace them because you can only have six multi-tools in your inventory. That said, first things first, make sure under your network settings multiplayer is disabled. That's the first thing. Secondly, you have to be in the Euclid Galaxy, which is where I am. Thirdly, you have to have yourself a portal. Unfortunately, this portal is going to have to be recharged every single time. I'm not sure what the problem is with the last update, but every time you use the portal, you have to charge it. So while I charge this, I'm going to pause you and bring you back here in just a moment. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. We have successfully charged this portal, and we'll do this every single time we use it. So, pay close attention. Our first address we're going to go to is the following sequence. It is... Starts with the bird. And yeah, I, I, I call them by different names than maybe, maybe some other people do. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. Call it what you will. So we go with the bird first. Sunset, the rocket ship, the sunset, the Triforce, yes, I call it that, shut up, the whale, or space whale maybe, two more sunsets, then we're going to go with the, I guess, spider, and at least that's what I call it, I know that, yeah, never mind, it's not important, uh, let's see, then we're going to go back to the bird, the balloon. Where is it? Balloon. Thank you, balloon. And finally, the moon. Or maybe a moon base. That is the address we're going to. Now, to be clear, my search for these went through No Man's Sky, coordinate exchange, and after that, after searching through there and looking for something, I could not find what I was looking for. There was literally nothing in there that had, like, four supercharged slots next to each other, or even close. There was one that had three next to each other, and one that was a little off-kilter from them, and it really wouldn't have applied. So it would have been more difficult to use that. So these have four slots as close to each other as we can find so far. Uh, I give full credit, the video that I watched is from hero to you um, He does a great job. Um, I just found it easier to go ahead and explain these things in a different format. So, full credit, I just want to give credit where credit's due. So, we're going to blast away to this planet, and we'll be right back in just a second. And we're back. Now, I want to be very clear again. You made sure your multi, uh, pardon me, multiplayer was off before you got here, right? Because if it isn't off, and you arrive at this planet, the multi-tool will not be here. Okay? Be clear on that. Secondly, we're going to go to first person view here. We need to go to the following coordinates. It's negative 36.42 and negative 107.15. 36.42 negative and negative 107. So both those numbers need to start dropping. If anyone of you are familiar with playing Mo uh, No Man's Sky or uh, pardon me, <laughs> No Man's Sky is what we're playing, playing uh, Minecraft or anything like that, you will know that that means you need to hit in a particular direction. So you see my rightmost number was dropping, and my leftmost number is now dropping too. So likely, I don't think that's going to be where it is, it'll be in this general direction. So we're going to go ahead and go out into the atmosphere here, and find this location. Alright, and now when I find it, I'm going to go ahead and bring you all back in. So I'll be right back with you here in just a couple moments. Well, here we are, everybody. It looks like we've found our landing pad. 
And when we get out of the ship, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, coordinates. Okay, here we are. Now, power play 89, that might be the actual discoverer of this or slot. Power play 89, they might be the actual discoverer of this unit. So here's the coordinates at the top right, 3642, 107.18. Okay, that's where we are. So let's head in and take a look at this uh, little weapon. It's like we've got a base computer up there, so we can't really put any more communication devices down. And as you can see, it is an experimental. And there are two charge slots right here, so we have to add more. So I'm going to be calling in my freighter so I can pull, pull in more slots. Uh, let's see, so we're going to compare to the piece of garbage I'm using at the moment, uh, known as the bleh. As you can see, it did have three slots right next to each other, but this one was just too far away to really be of any use to me whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, and we're going to pull in this one. Okay, and I've already got a pull spitter I can put in there, no problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this uh, weapon over, and we're going to exchange it for the one that we have right now. So, excellent. So I'm going to head up to the space station. That's here. And I'm going to go back to my base. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade this unit. And I'll be back here in just a moment. Okay, and welcome back everybody. We are on a space station. The space station we're on is actually in my own system. Because I wanted to pull in my freighter and I want to be near the portal for the next run. So, let's go ahead over here to the multi-tool station. Okay, and we're going to install a slot. So, what I'm going to do is, rather than going all the way across, I'm going to install right here, these four slots. So, as you can see, we'll go ahead and apply one. And there's our first upgrade, number two, and that one should be the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill those out, and we'll... that should be enough. I'm not going to go crazy with the rest right now. Okay, so there is where our upgrade slots are. I'm going to go ahead and apply three more, I was just thinking about this, right underneath for any extra upgrades we want to throw in here. So what is the most powerful weapon we have in existence? that we are aware of. Uh, we know that to be the Scatter Blaster. Now, unfortunately, the Scatter Blaster, as we know, is only good up close uh, and personal. So while I love to use a Pulse Spitter and I love to use the Neutron Cannon, we're going to go ahead and just experiment with the Scatter Blaster to get an idea of what we've got. So I'm going to take a look real quick here. I'm going to pull my Scatter Blaster part on one of my other weapons. Let me see here think. Does that have it on there? Let me check. Don't make me crash, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we end up putting the mining beam on here. That's funny. So I use it for a mining weapon now. Anyway. Let's pull it off of... Let's go ahead and pull it off the Osaka. Alright, so... Where is she? Okay, there's my Neutron, there's the Scatter Blaster, and I don't usually use it anyway, so let's go ahead and pull it off of here. Uh, let's see, yeah, plenty of room in here, right? Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and pull all the rest off. Not the multi Jeez, oh, doing good today, aren't I? Okay. Just so you know, these are pretty decent upgrades I have on my Scatter Blaster, so I just did it again. Okay. we we'll change out to the other one. Home of Clarity, it's called. And let's install, shall we? So, Scatter Blaster package. We're going to put this in a main slot. <clears throat> we want it to be accessible from the other slots around it. So we're going to rearrange some stuff as we put it in here. Let's put it there. See, my damage has gone up to 12. 12.5. Let's go here. 
We're at 22. We're going to put this one in the outside slot over here to bring it up to 34. And this will pull them all together at 38. So that's not too shabby. Let's move some stuff around and see what we come up with. Um, we want to leave this in a main slot. So let me move this over here. 38, 5, 12. 37, 38, 3, 3, uh, now, as we know, the best way to have these arranged would be to literally have them like that. That would be the best option, but unfortunately that's not going to work. That gives us 33. So this one we moved out of there would be better. 37, and we're back to 38. So maximum potential damage out of this is 38, 5, 12 is the most I can get out of this by putting them all together here. All right, so now that we know that, Let's keep in mind that my last weapon was at 47.5 when I was done upgrading it to maximum. So we're about 10,000 shy of that. Not a bad weapon, by all means. This is pretty good, and it will be good good damage potential. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll leave this here for now. Uh, no, we're not going to leave it here for now. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off of here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my main inventory, and we are going to go to the next tool after this. So we'll think about it. Think about whether I'm keeping this one or not. Okay, we're all set. Okay, multi-tool empty. Let's switch over to the next blech. And there it is, the also blech. Okay, we got the also blah in there, and now we're going to go to our next place. So we'll pick up here in just a moment when I arrive at my portal, uh, which, by the way, I checked it out real quick, and for some reason it stayed charged. So maybe this last update they did may have fixed that. We'll see. Okay, see you guys in just a couple moments. And we're back. Now, the second one is in a different galaxy. The last two, I should say. This one is in the Isentum Galaxy, so this is the second galaxy you will visit, usually after you have completed the main storyline. So for those of you who have not completed the main storyline or are looking for a really cool tool, you'll either have to know somebody that has a base in the Isentum Galaxy and you can join them there, create your own base of course, or you will have to finish the main storyline in order to get access to that next galaxy. Um, and just keeping in mind, on the side, there are 255 of these galaxies. So this is Galaxy 2 that we're in right now. So we're going to activate the portal. So for those of you uh, that need to make sure you're in the Isentum Galaxy, again, you have multiplayer turned off. And that's pretty much it. Okay, here we go. Let's get the portal address. Oh, a quick side note, I just remembered this too. There is one other way to get to the Isenton Galaxy. If you check the portal in the Anomaly, if you check the portal in the Anomaly and look at all the guest locations there, you will find usually a base that will have the Isenton Galaxy. And if you select it, it'll tell you what galaxy it's in. So that's a good thing to know. Anyway, moving on, we're going to go to the address now in Isenton. And here we go. That address is going to start with our, with the face. Here we go. Sunset. Triforce. Uh, what do you want to call that? Hands in the air? YMCA? I don't know. Triforce again. Rocket ship. Spiral galaxy. Or black hole, some people call it. Bird. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's a black bird. Okay. And face again. Back to the sunset. Back to the balloon. And one more moon. And there it is. Hope you flew your screenshot that. And next is going to be our address that we're going to go to on the next planet. It's got a weird atmosphere. Just keep that in mind. mentions one of the things he mentions in his uh, description of this is that you have to go to the space station 
but in this case you're also going to do a restore while you're on this planet. Now one of the things we used to always mention on some of these things is as soon as you arrive at the planet, do not reload, do not save, you know, things like that. This one's different. This one is one where you need to literally go ahead and do the in and out of the ship thing. So you save your restore point and then go ahead and reload at that point. Oh look, somebody built a nice uh <laughs> nice canopy and a base here and everything like that. Alright, where'd we park? There we go. Very odd place, huh? You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, something real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we're back, again, jump into your ship. Get out of your ship. Don't know what in the world that was all about. Go ahead and reload your restore point. And we'll be back in a second. And here we are, back on top of this thing. Anyway, let's jump in our speeder. Now, I want you to be clear, too, as we go to the space station here, I just want to state out loud, I have not gone and looking, gone looking for any of these tools until this very second. So, I'm just following the instructions as hero to you has described them. Now, other people may have found this. He may have found them through other people as well. So there should be credit given to all those folks who have found these multi-tools. So, Isentum Galaxy, when you come to that planet, do a restore, and then go to the space station. And while we're here, I'm going to pull in my freighter. Because any upgrades i got to do to it are on my freighter. There we go. Come on. Alrighty, there we go. Of course, all the little frigates are popping in. And here we go. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Now, my understanding is this is a alien. This is an alien multi-tool. And I believe it is an S-Class. There it is. That's the exact tool. Oxide Needler Mark 18. It is a C-Class. That's very interesting. So I am very curious as to... Curious about that. Very much so in regards to this. So let me just check this out for just a second. Yep, his is a C-Class as well. Okay. Okay. So, let me check this out. We're going to compare it to the unit we've got. Of course, the unit that I'm trading in is much more pricey, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. Now, my understanding is that as we upgrade this, and I should have enough nanites to do this. Okay. First thing we want to do is we need to upgrade the class. Okay, so that's upgrade one. We're going to upgrade the second one. It's going to cost me 85,000 nanites, so hopefully we don't have to do much on the last tool because I'm going to run low really quick. And upgrade the class one more time. Okay. So how many nanites does that leave me? 73, yep. So if, as long as we only have to upgrade the other one once, we should be okay. So we're going to add in the multi-tool expansion slots. So we have an expansion slot there. Let's buy that one. Buy that one. Oh, there they are. See? Now, in order to get the bottom row, we've got to fill these out. It's okay. i got plenty of those. And look at that. We get a fourth one automatically. They're all in a row. So that's very interesting. I'll just go ahead and apply that. Okay. So that is where we are with this one. Let's go ahead and add in the weapon. Scatter Blaster. We'll put it right here. 7,000. Uh, let's get the X-Class upgrades. 12,000. 21,000. That's the upgrade. 37,000. 
And last but not least, let's see where we put this. That gets us to 40. Let's see what happens. Okay, so 40 is our best here so far. 40,441 is what I can get with these upgrades that I've got in here right now. So not bad. Again, like I said, I got 47.5 with the other one. So not bad at all. This is a good second second placer. Let's call it that. That's not what I was trying to do. You know what I was trying to do. Okay, so I'm going to pull these out real quick, store them back in here, and we're going to go after the third multi-tool. And I'll bring you folks back as soon as I get to the portal, and we'll show you the address for the third location. So again, we don't have to worry about an actual uh, address on the ground someplace, uh, because we are in the space station. So that was pretty good. No, no actual planetary address. That's nice. So let's go to the uh, portal. We are already in the Isentum galaxy. So again, this third tool is going to be in Isentum. All right, we'll see you folks in just a little bit. And we're back. And uh, hopefully you are ready for the third address. So let's go ahead in here. Hopefully this is ready to go. No, it's not. Hang on just one moment, folks. Actually, I got a better idea. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to my planet because I found that my portal remained charged. Be back here in just a couple moments. Okay, so we're back. And I basically had to go back to this planet because I found a new glitch. Apparently, once you have activated the portal to another planet, it will never, ever disengage. So as soon as I go back to my own planet, that portal cannot be used again. I don't know why. So I'll have to report that one. Anyway, let's go ahead and go through this portal instead. We're still in the Isentum galaxy. That's what should happen right there. Should disengage anyway. So the next portal address, keep an eye open. I'm going to go dinosaur, bird, boat, TP, or tent, YMCA. Our hands in here. Face, YMCA, Triforce, boat, 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 boat. Uh, let's see here. Back to the TP again. Back to another face. And YMCA. Got it? Okay. Here we go. Okay, this is going to be a cold planet. And it's a royal multi-tool that we're going to find here. Again, I have not actually done anything with this multi-tool. And if it's a C-class, what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to go someplace and uh, acquire some more nanites to get it updated, because I'll need 85,000. So I'll have to do a little nanite farming to get this guy up to snuff. Because most of the time, the Royal Multi-Tools are never an A-class or a B-class. And never an S-class. So let's see what happens here. I don't know what that said. It came up too quickly. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, just what we always wanted. An extreme sentinel planet. Thank you. Okay, well, bunking is what we do all the time. I think anyway. I don't see any other communication beacon. Okay, great. So, let's head in. And we're going to go back to first person. And we have the coordinates are positive 1741 and positive 756. That's with a decimal, of course. Positive 17.41, positive 7.56. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause while we find this location. We'll be right back. Okay, and we have arrived. Again, 1741, 756. So as we get out of this, remember, it's an aggressive sentinel planet. So you can shut down the sentinels. They shouldn't attack you here. But if they do, just shut them down. Okay, see what we got. Let's check the extract weapons, and hopefully it is an A-class. How odd. Q. 
Kievka's Light Tuner. And it's red and gold. That's kind of nice. Alright, now, one thing I forgot to do. You already probably figured it out. I forgot to switch my weapon over. So let's go to... Blath 3. Okay. Alright. Here we go again. Strap Weapons Technology. We're going to compare... See, I know it has a lot more slots in it, but there's nothing I can do about it. You can see the, the they were so far apart. They were useless to me at this point. So, anyway, we're going to exchange it. And whatever. I accidentally clicked on something I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Got it out. Turn. We'll get out of here. Hold on. Don't worry. And we're out of the controls. All right. So they won't attack you even though you're right here. Hi. How you doing? I'm sorry, is my ship in the way? I'm sorry, let, let, me move, let, me, let me move that for you. I'm very sorry. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to go up to the space station. Because we got to upgrade it to S-Class anyway. So let's go ahead and head out. That's very neat, though. That's a great place to go do some testing while we're at it. So let's see what kind of a weapon we can get out of this one. Oh, it's an outlaw system, too. How interesting. And it's not aiming at the station. I don't know what is with the aiming lately, but... Okay, and as soon as we get there, we're going to go ahead and pull in my freighter so we can upgrade this to the next level and add in a couple more slots. Yeah, you're already seeing the problem too, aren't you? Okay, we're going to go there anyway. Why? Because we're going to go to one of our bases. And we'll go to the space station. Or we'll just go to another space station. Oh, we can go to those outlaw stations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're going to throw in as many wrenches as we can into this whole mix. In order to get this one multi-tool updated. Anyway, we've got a portal we can go to here. So we'll just use the portal. I could just call in my freighter and use its portal. Yeah, that would be smarter now, wouldn't it? I wonder if I can go to my freighter from here. Let me see. I am curious. I haven't tried that before. Nope. Can't even go to my own stinking freighter. Unbelievable. Alright, folks. We'll be right back. So I'm not sure how many of you noticed, but you noticed that you could go to your settlement. So if you've got a settlement, you can go there. I just pulled in my freighter, and I decided to go to the space station near my set my settlement. So here we are, regular ordinary space station. And we're going to go ahead and get this unit updated to an S-Class. It only requires 50,000 nanites to do that. And this will use up just about everything I've got in reserve. Give me with about 20-something thousand left, and that's it. But, you know, I can get that back. Maybe I'll make that into a video, too. Alright, so, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the class. It's now S-Class. Now we're going to upgrade the tool. Now, mind you, it's damaged, too, so... Let's go ahead and install some slots. And get them put in here. Let me see here, there, there. I don't know what that was about. Let's try that again. Um, excuse me. Where's my freighter? It's not too far away. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's enough. I think I have enough now, don't you? Alright, let's see. So we're going to put it here. Here. Okay, so you see we got three right there. Okay. Ah! Interesting. Oh, good. I might keep this tool. We'll see what's going on here. So back to the multi-tool. I need to repair it, so let's make sure... How come I don't have any of this stuff? What is going on? I know I've got circuits and stuff like that, so... Okay, so let's get this all fixed up. 
at least get this slot opened up. All right, don't have to worry about these right now. These are our slots that we're more interested in. So what do we got? 383 damage. Let's go ahead and load up the Scatter Blaster. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put it here for now. Let's see how this works out. 6,500. 11,7. Uh, where's the other X? There we go. 20,000. 34,000. And last but not least, the Shell Greaser gets us to 37. So not quite as good as the other one, but as far as Royal Multi-Tools, at 38.9, see what we got there? 38.9, that's pretty good. Put this anywhere, 38, 38. Nope, 38.9, that just kind of pulls everybody together. So that's the highest we can get, almost 39,000 with just this multi-tool. So that's not bad. That's not a bad weapon at all. So in essence, let's go back to all the multi-tools and take a look at them together. So what we ended up with was Poem of Clarity, which we got up to about, if I remember correctly, 37. 37.5 was the maximum we can get out of that with what I had. Uh, the Oxide Needler was the best one at just over 40. And now this one, the Light Tuner, Royal Multi-Tool, got to 39. So all in all, great, great weapons. Um, this one over here, just to give you a rough idea, I picked this up through another video. Um, it was not a bad weapon at all, and, is, and it shows only 26 right now, but I am using currently the Pulse Spitter in those slots, um, and it always got, gets a little bit less in regards to that, but I just like using the Pulse Spitter. That and the Neutron Cannon, you know how I am with that. So I really do like these, are my two favorite weapons. Um, this one has pretty much some of the best fire rates and stuff like that in here so 319 is pretty much what we're looking for as far as that's concerned let me just check the other one make sure i've got the maximum on those uh royal 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 there you are take a look real quick and it is at 320 so actually these are more powerful upgrades than the one i have over there 320 and 3 and 20. So these are probably the most powerful upgrades you can possibly get on the multi-tool for the shell grease, uh, pardon me, for the scatter blaster. So not bad. Again, uh, 38.9. We're getting just about 39,000 damage on this one. I, again, OP. You know, back in the day, 14,000 was considered, oh my gosh, that's so powerful. We're hitting three times that. So yeah, yeah, you're going to do some serious damage with one of these. By all means, use your favorite weapon at it. And you now you know where you can find them and what you can do with them. So good fortune to all of you who look for these weapons. Uh, I will be doing some more research and seeing if I can find something. I'd really like to find something in the 45 range, if I can find it. Um, Hero to you says that his was able to get up to 45,000 damage. Not this one, but one of the earlier multi-tools, the uh, uh, alien multi-tool. So that's not bad. He must have some upgrades I don't know about. So good for him um, and good for all of us that we can find these tools. Hopefully this helps you out. Again, folks, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do a lot of videos like this. I've getting, gotten a lot of ideas from folks in the comments section about things to do and things to look for. Uh, and we'll cover this in other videos as the time comes up. So again, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like what you, what you found. Again, comments are important. If you got questions, drop them in there. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you very much. Be kind always in all things that you do, folks. And as always, be truthful in all things. Take care, everybody.